Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures and I'm going to be opening this box or this bag. It's a two pound bag today from Shop Goodwill. Um, I uh, am going to date this the date I record it and then I will date it the date it is um, uh, uploaded onto the video so that I can keep the bag straight. I am missing one item which I believe I did sell. So uh, I'm still looking for it. So if I can't find it, I do have these bags in a, a box. And um, so uh, it'll turn up. <laughs> anyway, but that's it. I just can't find one item. But um, anyway, so mom's going to undo these. And I'm just going to do a little bit of, of cleanup here. Um, All right, so these are a couple of things left over. These bangles are left over, and um, I had them for $5 each. I will take $3 each for those, and if no one buys them, I think I'm going to keep them because they're a nice, larger size. Separating. Th yes, separate. So anyway, so those, are, so those are super cute, but they will be in the 7-5 bag now, so... Um, screenshot, timestamp, email, janetpaniccomcast.net. Um, and if you don't have the ability to do that, um, I, we can work it through on uh, email. I just did that today for someone and I, I found everything they needed. So anyway, this one I had for $3. This is going to end up in mystery uh, if no one buys it on this one. Um, I'll, I'll take $2 for it. So if you're interested, it says made in Germany here. So it is vintage. It's not Bakelite and um, it's really cute. Look, oh, there we go. It does fit. Okay, so moving on. All right, so this one is going into craft lot. This, I don't remember if I showed it on, uh, I did get it out of one of these ba bags, but I don't remember if I, uh, filmed this one but this one is gorgeous it's missing a ton of stones in here I don't know if you could see it but there's a ton of stones missing here um, and there might be some missing on this uh, rhinestone chain I don't know no looks like they're all there so it's quite possible somebody well I don't even think you can do that you can't take them off of here and stick them on there because these don't have any pink and those are pink. Anyway, so if anybody wants it, it's a dollar in the craft lot, but it will be in this bag so I can find it. Here is a pair of shoe clips. Really super dainty. Put those on your little ballet uh, slip-ons and you are jazzed up. And they, whoops, and they do work. Um, let's see here. See, this one says, well, it does say Bluette on there. So, made in France. Well, let's see what Bluette shoe clips are going for these days. Bluette. How's everybody? Bluette shoe clips. Uh, it looks like the super nice ones are doing, going like for, you know, anywhere from 10 to, you know, 15. These don't look like they're anything super special, but they are made in France. Um, let's see what solds look like, because that's, that's going to tell me. All righty. Yeah, they're not selling for much. I do these for, I mean, three bucks. I On this one, I don't have a price yet. It's in really good condition. It looks like it, it might be a sweater pins or something that would go on the front of your jacket or your sweater. Um, Anyway, I'm going to start these at 10. If you think of a better price and you want them, email me, jandapanda at comcast.net. 
So these are gonna go in the seven five bag and then I'll write down what day I recorded it. This one I'm gonna keep for a little while. Uh, it's interesting that you know this showed up in a, one of these bags. Uh, this is the Golden Gate Bridge, which is not very far from me. And this is, no, yes, maybe. And these are somebody's uh, senior class charms. And then uh, it says Monet on the chain and the chain's in really good condition. Um, I would, uh, I'd sell the Monet um, bracelet for $5. Let's see, does it unhook here? It does. And get a measurement on it. I'd also consider selling the charms with it. I mean, these are not precious metal. These are the inexpensive ones. I know you can get these like in sterling or, you know, 10 karat gold when you graduate. This one is not marked. I don't, I, none of these are precious metal. So for $5, you can have the whole thing. I don't think I need to keep it doesn't have the, the class name on there or anything, so what's the point? These are my new cards. I think I've sent a few out. It's a little panda on that side. On the other side, it says Janda Panda Treasures. Uh, Janda Panda Treasures on YouTube. Janda Panda at Comcast.net. Cute little panda. Another thing I wanted to show you, my niece was here. She was uh, going through the brooches and she's going, I just don't know how to wear these. These are so pretty. And um, I said, well, I think you can like put them on your purse. She had this cute scarf. I've got a picture. She's had this cute scarf hanging off the side of her beautiful Dana Buckman um, uh, leather purse. This is about, I would say, seven inches. Um, and so um, I said, well, let's try a few. And she had a scarf on it hanging off a bit. And I said, you can put it on your scarf. You don't need to, you know, put it, um, you know, you don't want it to go through the leather. So um, anyway, so I took a few pictures and where'd they go? Oh, did I? Oh, dang. I took pictures on the other phone, which I'm recording on, so I'll have to do that tomorrow. Sorry. Okay, so let's get into this next box. Okay, these are those shell pieces that are going to go into mystery. They're going in that same bag. This is a beautiful cloisonne. I have these in this size for about $3. Skinnier ones, too, for about $3, but this is a beautiful pinkish lavender. I mean, I don't know why there's just so many of these in my bags, but I get them and they are cute. They're very pretty and you can stack them. Really nice. Okay. Here is an AB necklace. Nice one. This is very clean. Look, appears to be unused and untangled, just in gorgeous condition. To just kind of flip it around a little bit just to get it to lay correctly. Do enough, enough of these. All right, there's some more that needs to happen there, but I think you get the idea. But this one's gorgeous. It's a three strand glass crystal Aurora Borealis, and I call them ABs with a shepherd's hook and an extender. If I can get it in there, we can work that out. So we'll make it even. There we go. The shortest or the longest um, wearable length on this beautiful piece is seven inches. This would be $3. It's gorgeous. It's just sparkles and it looks very clean. Next we have these unusual <laughs> glass pieces. There's no maker's mark. My earrings start out at $3 if they're in really good condition. Some of the better, you know, ones they go for $5. 
unless they're made of gold and stuff. This looks really worn. This is probably gonna go into craft. There's no maker's mark. This has a lot of wear to it. I'm starting to get a little bit picky about my jewelry. 14 inches, so that's gonna go into craft. And I can pull it out of craft for you for a dollar, and I do bundle, so look into that. Just email me. Here's some cute little rhinestone earrings. There is a mark on it. Uh, if I can get my, these are super adorable. Didn't bring them up closer to the cam camera. Teardrops with the other rhinestones on there. And it does have a mark on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Is she on bed, our bed? No. Hmm, she's in here somewhere. Oh, hmm. I left that gate open. Oh, but she wouldn't have gone through there. Maybe she's back in the bathroom eating the cat's food. No, she's outside. These are Trafari. My dog's outside um, barking at the blow-up toys in the pool, so yeah, she's... These are three. There's a, I think there's a brooch that matches this ring. Uh, this is a scarf clip, and it looks like a dual scarf clip. Nope, it's not. So, $3. This is a cute little set, and I think I did um, a, uh, this is really in bad shape, but it's about the same size of that as that cat face. This is a cat. Um, and I did um, a Google search on this and I found it. I think uh, it was, um, what was the best price I can find on it was, um, Google Lens. Again, this is just a tool. I always search comps. Okay, so this one is a vintage prism, prismatic cat pin. And somebody wants $10 for it on Poshmark. I would do $3 to my subscribers and you get this one for free, just so you can have a replacement piece if something happens to that. And, oh, these are darling. These are really pretty. Let's see if all the stones are there. These are in really nice shape. All right. Yeah, these are three. They're really cool. Do they open? They open. Look at that. I should open these up before I even give you a price, just in case. <laughs> there. But those are cute. Uh, earrings are um, a, not a common sale. I mean, especially clip-ons because, um, you know, so if somebody sees something they like, you can wear a clip-on if you have pierced ears. Just can't wear pierced earrings when you're doing a clip-on. Oh, sure. You can put the earrings in there. Right. All this stuff is going back in a little baggy. Okay. Here's some beaded ones. These will be $3 each set, each pair. Uh, there isn't any earrings for this. It's a ring. Right. So these guys, this guy's in, is broken. So is he, is he broken? Well, he does need some tightening and I don't know how to do that. So I'm gonna put these guys into craft. These guys will be $3. These are glass beads. In, in with the earrings. Okay. Yeah. All right, these guys are glass, car, it looks like they're carved glass, and there are stones missing, so these are gonna go into craft. One, it looks really in sad shape. It's got some discolored stones and one missing, and then you got this one in pristine shape. What happened? What happened? This one I just handed you, I think, yeah. This is a pair of, obviously a pair of earrings. There's no maker's mark. These would be $3. 
they're pretty heavy, really heavy. And again, I bundle, so if you want to throw a bunch of earrings together and, you know, we can talk about it. This is absolutely beautiful. I'll bring it up to you and you can see it. Look at that. Looky there. Gorgeous necklace. And it says Avon on it. This is so pretty. I'm going to ask $5. Sorry. It's gorgeous. It's adorable. I have to take the knot out on this end here because there's a, a bit of a knot. So we'll work on that. But this one's going to be $5. Oh, it says about a six and a half. I'll bet you, you could, it'd be a seven if you took that knot out. Yeah. We'll do that. Could probably do it while I'm sitting here but um so I'll work on that over here okay here's a simple chain it's in excellent condition I might even keep it myself I think I'm going to keep this one in case I come across a pendant in this exact color tone it's 11 and a half inches that would that would be a really nice piece for a beautiful pendant and there's nothing wrong with it. So I'll hang on to that guy. Here's some more earrings. $3. $3. This one's missing a stone. I can see it from here. So that's this pair is going to go into craft. And I think yeah, there's no maker's mark. Usually it's on the top, but you never know. Oh, yeah, here we go. This says Richelieu, Rich, Richelieu. So if somebody would like to take on a craft project and fix that, it's a dollar. Oh, this is gorgeous. It looks like it's in beautiful, this is a Napier. This will be $5. It's beautiful. Look at that gorgeous piece. And it's about a ten and a half inch, maybe. Uh, I think it's an, I think it's an eleven. Yeah, it's about eleven, eleven and a half inches. But that's pretty. I don't see any signs of wear on any of it. So there you go. And these are missing a stone right there. Craft lot. These are heavy stones too. It's missing one here. So these are going in the craft lot, but take a peek. You might want them. These I thought were really cool. They almost, they look like they're uh, Murano glass with some gold stone lines in here. Um, let's take a little picture and do a Google lens on it. No, I don't see anything like, oh, here they are. This looks like them a little bit. No, these look like they're stone. This is definitely glass. These uh, these look really vintage, and I'm going to ask $5 on these, because these guys, these guys look pretty old. They're probably made in Italy. If not, they should be. They're really adorable, and these guys have some weight, so that is like a, um, a glass. It's very, very pretty. This goes in the pile over there. Oh, okay. Well, they're all going to go in that bag. So, this is uh, interesting. This has a very big um, lobster claw. And then it has this symbol on the extender. And this is just, in, feels inexpensive. Oh, this might not even belong on here. 
So this looks like a, maybe they replaced the bale. So this is gonna go into craft. Pretty cool, I like this part better than I like this part. You want it all in mm -hmm. Okay. Now this one, this is, this is strange. When I first saw this, I thought it was an H, but I'm thinking it's more of an Asian writing. I've seen this before. Um, I'm not sure what to do, but to make of it. It's got a lot of wear to it. It will most likely end up in craft, but I would be totally interested if somebody would put in the comments what they think that is. Because, like I said, at first I thought it was an H, now I think it's some sort of an a Asian symbol. Here's some really pretty blue clip-ons. I don't see any stones missing. It looks really good on the back. It, it doesn't scream vintage to me, um, but they're really cute. I think these feel like they're, they're not heavy, so these are, these feel like they're acrylic. So those are nice, cute little earrings, little button earrings, $3. Here's another chain that I think I will hang on to. This, we're almost at the end. I think we've got a few more things to show you. All right, so. This is a pretty, pretty, and this says Trafari, I believe. Yes, this is a Trafari. It's not a crown Trafari, it is a Trafari. And we'll look at the, I just want to get this thing hooked on here. There's no cooperation whatsoever. So here we go with the Trafari piece with a wearable drop or a wearable length or however you want to call it. This one's like six inches, six and a half inches. So that's like, really close to the collarbone. Let's look at the back. I imagine you can add some more links if you wanted to. Looks like it's in really great shape. This would be $5. It's just, it's very pretty, but again, it's, it's a little on the smallish side. And very nice. And so here's, this is really worn out. This is gonna go into craft, but you can look at it. Do a timestamp if you want it, but that chain is so worn out and this is kind of flimsy. So are these guys, these are all worn out. So that's going into craft. All right, so this looks like it's a set. These are, these are matte finished pearl beads. I don't think that these guys, I don't you think are, see. you could actually put these with it mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Um, but these are just simple matte button earrings. Um, this, I see problems, but, but look at this interesting, these feel like they're, they're coated glass. They could be a coated acrylic, but these, these feel like they're a coated glass and they actually, um, have a matte finish and they're in excellent condition. So let's take a look like it's going all the way through here. Now I see a problem with this. It's got a stone missing here. But we have donor pieces. So here is another piece. This one is not missing a stone. It does, oh, let me show you how this one works because I saw the clasp over here. This is really cool. The clasp is the pendant. Very nice. No maker's mark, no country of origin. Snapped in there, good. Well, it, is it snapped in there? I always like it to be snapped in snug. Yeah, it's in there now. So that's really cool. I think that's interesting. So this one needs um, 
some help if you wanted to maintain this necklace. This one has all of its stones. So I probably wouldn't be touching this at all because it goes with this. So we, we would have to look at this and these are intact as well. There's nothing missing here. So you could make a decision. Um, I would sell the whole set for like $7. You can decide if you don't want earrings, one of these is going to fit that hole and it would be a complete set. So, um, so there's that. So the whole set I would do for $5. These are three. I can bundle if you want these with these. And then you, this is what you could do, and I will bundle them. Uh, you can have these as your earrings and use these as your donor if you don't want clip-ons or um, find another stone. But $5 for all of this. And I think that was it. So um, just to do a little bit of a recap, here's some of the items. You can email me, jandapanda at comcast.net, and um, shipping starts at $4 for the first eight ounces, and that includes packaging. So if it's exactly eight ounces, it goes up to the next tier. Um, but, you know, I can work with you if, as long as you, you know, if you're buying a bunch, then great. We got... We can have a conversation. So, there's all of these lovelies. There's, you can utilize this Monet bracelet in perfect condition. Take the charms off. And that's all I have to say about that. So, have a lovely day and thank you for watching. This is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. Thank you. Bye.